From Eugene Ely's first aircraft launch from a surface ship in 1911 to the Battle of Midway in 1942, naval aviation has evolved to contribute much to the United States of America. One area where naval aviation has helped greatly is space flight, where the training of Navy pilots to make precise carrier landings becomes even more valuable hundreds of miles from Earth. People sometimes forget that things like the space shuttle or even a capsule, uh, at some point in their life, going into space and coming back, they turn into aerodynamic vehicles. And even if it's a cone, it's got to be able to glide through the atmosphere and make a landing somewhere in the ballpark for where we want it. That's what naval aviation teaches, precise landings. When you're coming back aboard a carrier, I mean, you've got to be very precise. Uh, you can make, you can trap on one of four wires. If you miss them, then you're toast. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's just a, a level of precision uh, that is unprecedented. We do the same thing in the space program. When we put somebody on another planet, as we are going to do when we go to Mars, we've got to be able to make a carrier landing. We've got to be able to, to send them to a very precise spot on the Martian surface that we know it's going to be safe and level and everything else. When we sent Neil Armstrong to the surface of the moon, what was most incredible about that was it was a, it was a precise carrier landing. We knew where we wanted them to be. Uh, Neil was able to take over manually because he found that where he was going to land, that precise spot, was a little bit rougher than we had thought. And so he moved just a little bit to one side and landed safely. And that's, that's the kind of precision that's required when you're going to another planet many, 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 many millions of miles sometimes away from Earth. Reporting from Washington, I'm Petty Officer James Stolopak.